Hi, today we're going to take a look at how to subtract mixed numbers with like denominators. Before getting into it, we need to remember that a mixed number, like this one, is the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. Also, a proper fraction is a fraction where the numerator, the top number, is less than the denominator, the bottom number. 4 fifths is a proper fraction, given that the numerator 4 is less than the denominator 5. Nice! Are you ready for the first example? In this example, we need to subtract 9 and 4 fifths minus 2 and 3 fifths. As you can see, these two mixed numbers have the same denominator. To find the difference, first, we need to subtract the whole numbers. The whole numbers are 9 and 2 in this example. So we put 9 minus 2, and 9 minus 2 is equal to 7. Next, we put 7 in the answer. Perfect! We have the difference of the whole numbers. It's time to find the difference of the fractions. The fractions are 4 fifths and 3 fifths in this case. So we put 4 fifths minus 3 fifths. 3 fifths. These two fractions have the same denominator. 5 on the left, 5 on the right, 5 on this side. And next, we subtract the numerators. And 4 minus 3 gives us 1. Perfect! Finally, we add the difference of the fractions to the difference of the whole numbers. So we put 1 fifth, 1 fifth, next to 7 holes. In that way, 9 and 4 fifths minus 2 and 3 fifths give us 7 and 1 fifth. Let's move on to another example. In this problem, we need to subtract 8 and 3 fourths minus 2 and 1 fourth. These two mixed numbers have the same denominator. To find the difference, first, we need to subtract the whole numbers. The whole numbers are 8 and 2. So we put 8, 8 minus 2. And 8 minus 2 give us 6. Next, we put 6 in the answer. We have the difference of the whole numbers. It's time to subtract the fractions. The fractions are 3 fourths and also 1 fourth. So we put 3 fourths minus 1 fourth. Perfect. These two fractions have the same denominator. 4, 4 and 4. Perfect. Now we subtract the numerators and 3 minus 1 give us 2. We have 2 fourths. However, 2 fourths is a fraction that we can simplify. So we're going to simplify this fraction dividing the numerator and the denominator by the same number, by 2. 2 divided by 2 gives us 1. And 4 divided by 2 equals 2. The difference of the fractions is 1 half. Finally, we add 1 half to 6. In that way, 8 and 3 fourths minus 2 and 1 fourth give us 6 and 1 half. Let's move on to the last example. In this problem, we need to subtract 8 and 1 third minus 3 and 2 thirds. This problem is different from the previous ones. Despite that, we will try to follow the same steps. So we'll start by subtracting the whole numbers. The whole numbers are 8 and 3. So we put 8 minus 3 and 8 minus 3 give us 5. We can write 5 in the answer. We continue by subtracting the fractions. The fractions are 1 third and also 2 thirds. So we put 1 third minus 2 thirds. These two fractions have the same denominator. 3 on the left, 3 on the right, 3 on this side, and we continue by subtracting the numerators. 1 minus 2. Hold on, we cannot subtract 2 from 1, because 2 is greater than 1. We got in trouble here, and the reason is that the second fraction is greater than the first fraction. This is a special case. In this special case, the fraction of the second mixed number is greater than the fraction of the first mixed number. In this case, we need to follow a different procedure. Pay attention, this is the strategy for this special case. We're going to convert both mixed numbers to improper fractions, and then we're going to find the difference. Let's start with 8 and 1 third. To convert a mixed number to an improper fraction, first, we multiply the denominator by the whole number, and then we add this result to the numerator. Here we go. 3 times 8 is 24, plus 1 gives us 25. 25, once again. 3 times 8 is 24, plus 1 gives us 25, and then we keep the denominator the same. 3 come over here. At this point, we should remember the improper fractions. An improper fraction is a fraction where the numerator, the top number, is greater than or equal to the denominator, the bottom number. 25 thirds is an improper fraction, given that the numerator 25 is greater than the denominator 3. Nice! Then we have the minus sign 
And here we need to convert this mixed number to an improper fraction. One more time, okay? Here we go. First, we multiply the denominator by the whole number, and then we add this result to the numerator. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 give us 11, 11. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 give us 11. And then we keep the denominator the same. 3 come over here. Now we need to subtract these two fractions with like denominators. 3 on the left, 3 on the right, 3 on this side, and then we subtract the numerators. 25 minus 11. We're going to do the subtraction on this side. 25 minus 11, 11. 5 minus 1 give us 4, and 2 minus 1 is 1. The answer is 14. 14, come over here. 14 thirds is also an improper fraction, given that the numerator 14 is greater than the denominator 3. However, we need the answer as a mixed number, not as an improper fraction. So finally, we're going to convert this improper fraction to a mixed number. Do you remember the steps? Pay attention to the following question. How many times does 3 go into 14? How many times does 3 go into 14? Well, 3 goes into 14 4 times. And then we multiply. 4 times 3 is 12. To get 14, we need to add 2. One more time. 4 times 3 is 12. To get 14, we need to add 2. And then the denominator stays the same. 3 come over here. The final answer is 4 and 2 thirds. We can copy that answer on this side. 4 and 2 thirds. Perfect. Finally, 8 and 1 third minus 3 and 2 thirds give us 4 and 2 thirds. That's all for today. If you want to learn more about mixed numbers, check out that playlist. And here you have another video. Have a good one and see you next lesson. Bye!